Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna start removing things from the engine bay to get it ready for paint, so come along. Yeah, so if you saw last week's video, we got the booster delete in. After talking with some people, and I even said in that video, I think the next best step is to paint the engine bay. So what we gotta do is we gotta pull the engine, pull the booster back out, pull the clutch master, get some of the wiring, get some of the lines all off, and then we gotta start prepping it. The prepping it's gonna be a whole different thing. If we can get the engine out and get the firewall cleared off today, I'll be pretty, pretty stoked. Jason's gonna be tackling it today. You know, he likes taking things apart as he says. Hell yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I'm still working on the 8.6 over here, so. Um, yeah, I would probably start with the engine, Jason, but do whatever you want to do, I guess. I'll start. Yeah, yeah? okay. Yep. Get the big blob out of the way and then the rest will be easier. Yeah, so we're gonna throw you guys on time lapse here real quick and Get crushing on this. is all out now we just gotta finish stripping the firewall which in all reality really shouldn't take that long jason's had that in all like five times now so that'll be like a five second removal oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pull the fuel lines out we're gonna pull these brake lines out we gotta pull the wiper cowl off get all this wiring off we can actually like pull the fenders pull the bumper headlights and start like prepping it but i want to get everything stripped out of the bay yet that's that's gonna be the next part, like I said. Um, Jason's gonna get going on that, and hopefully we'll have a bare engine bay here by the time I talk to you guys again. Yeah, so we got everything all out. Obviously, the engine bay needs a good degreasing and uh, it's gotta get all scuffed up and everything. But we got the brake lines pushed in, the fuel lines pushed in, we got all the hydraulics off the firewall. We'll have to mask that all off and everything. But it's pretty much ready. Um, I know I haven't told you guys what color it is. I'm not going to. If you wanna guess, you can. Make sure you comment what your guess is. It's not an OEM Subaru color. It is an OEM color from a Japanese manufacturer though, so take that as you will. But I know this isn't really probably the correct order to do things maybe. Maybe we should be working on the body stuff here. The problem is, is if I'm always working on the body stuff, nothing else is really getting done on the car. At least if we get this done, Jason can be doing some of the mechanical type things while I'm doing you know the body stuff. So it's kind of, a way to do two things at once, if that makes any sense. At least I think so. But Josh knows what color it's gonna be. Yeah, it'll be nice. Anyway, so if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.